life is a crooked path. It is yeah. never, even, even the people who think they've got it. I mean, okay, there are a few people who are like, when my, my partner, in fact, mm -hmm. she decided early in her life that she wanted to do math and she did math for 40 years, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. she had, uh, you know, so occasionally, you know, it's clear and, and she did, but she hated traditional school. So, so her, she read uh, Summerhill when she was 14 and that sort of inspired her to, you know, when she got into teaching, it was like, this is not going to be just simply a lecture and a, and a, you know, spewed out kind of thing. So she spent her life doing, she was doing flipped classrooms before that was a term, you know, she was doing things, you know, to really engage and, and, and get people to, I mean, she taught so non-traditionally that I could go into one of her advanced graduate level courses and fully participate on the first day with absolutely no skills in math <laughs> because yeah. she was doing something. She was starting at a level. It's just like asking a question of, uh, I think the question was, what is symmetry? And then, you know, we, it, we break it into small groups, have discussions, you know, it didn't require any math skills to talk about mm -hmm. that. Now, right. day two, I was lost, but <laughs> I mean, I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't there day two, but, but she knew I'd be lost. So because Immediately what happens is these other people in my group all have some serious math skills. So, so they start to then formulate it in mathematical terms or they, they, after we have a certain basic level discussion, they start thinking, well, what about this? You know, and it happens to be a mathematical idea. Now at the level of discussion, it was, I was, it wasn't a big deal that I didn't know that, but, but yes, <laughs> it, but for most people, the straight line, even most people who go to traditional schools, the straight line is yeah. not a thing. For right, most people right. in the world, life is a crooked path, and and it just you know if you don't have the confidence to pursue what you want, you're pursuing defaults or or things that are given or just things you've been exposed to rather than something like if you don't have there is a certain skill to knowing what you want. Right. For me, the the big thing is we can learn all of the like we can go into that traditional setting and we can learn all of these things, but what are we right. learning it for? Are we learning it? just to get past that next roadblock they've put in front of us right, or, right. you know, I have to do this to get in, to stay with my friends in the next grade because we have to separate everyone by age in that, in that path for some reason, right. you know, and, and when you're learning for that, you're not retaining it. So now it's, what am I doing this for? Because I don't mm -hmm. remember what I just was working on a month ago. Yeah. And, yeah and I'm just feeling like I'm going through the motions and what am I preparing myself for at that point, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which is, is, is something that like really goes into the, the kind of root of, of why I like alternative learning styles is mm -hmm. I, I've never been someone who I can't, I just don't, I do not function in a, this is what you do. And the reason to do that is because I said, this is what to do. Mm -hmm. Like that just doesn't mm -hmm. work for me. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.